Time to say your last goodbyes, child. No, please don't do this to me. I absolutely despise vaccines. I'm way too young. The disease, not your life. Do you even know what a vaccine is? Oh, no I don't. All I know is it's kind of like a stab of death and it's gonna be the end of me. What? Not even close. Before all this jazz happens, let's go over what vaccines are, how they work, and what they really do. A vaccine is an injection. A stab of death. I will weaken our dead microbe into the bloodstream to trigger the immune system's response against that microbe to prevent a certain disease. It is not a stab of death. Although it may be slightly painful, it has many benefits. Now let's go back in time to see who discovered the first vaccine. <laughs> Whoa, not that far. Reel back a little. Okay, stop here. In 1796, good old Edward Jenner here discovered that milkmaids who had caught cowpox before were immune to the, another disease called smallpox. He took an area of tissue from a local milkmaid and put it on a young boy who was diagnosed with smallpox. After two months and a slight fever, he discovered that the young boy was immune to smallpox. Okay, but how do vaccines actually work in our body today? Glad you asked. When germs invade the body, they attack and multiply. This invasion is called an infection containing antigens, and the infection is what causes the illness. Our immune system has to fight the antigens. Antigens. Immune cells called lymphocytes respond and create antibodies. Once it fights off the infection, the body has a supply of cells that recognize that infection and so it can help fight that infection off in the future. Vaccines help develop immunity by imitating this infection, but this infection doesn't cause illness. Okay, but how is the vaccine actually put in my body? Well, there are different ways to inject a vaccine into someone's body. Most vaccines work best when they are released slowly into a body which is why they are injected into a layer of fat between the skin and the muscle. The limited blood flow in this area prevents the vaccine from spreading around too quickly. Do they just stab the injection into my arm like some scene from a murder movie? Excuse me? This is the doctor's office, not the Orient Express. Most vaccines are injected into the deltoid muscle of the arm, while some are injected into a patient's thigh. But it all depends on their age. What does the vaccine actually contain? Good question, child. The vaccine includes a small group of antigens, but the antigens are either weakened or dead, but they can still get the immune system to get up and start it. The antibodies in the immune system will then swarm the antigens and fight them off. The immune system will be able to remember that vaccine antigen, so if the disease ever comes around, it'll be able to fight it off. So it basically tricks your body into learning stuff? Basically. You hear that, mom? So when do I have to take this? Vaccine. I just want to get it over with. What? A vaccine isn't a one-time thing. You have to take multiple vaccines throughout your life at different ages to protect yourself against multiple diseases. There's a lot of debate today whether you should take a vaccine or not, both on the media and on the news. Now that I've cleared up what a vaccine is, how it works, and what it does, I'll leave that other decision up to you. <laughs>